In November 2012, Elon Musk made an announcement that would change the course of space exploration forever. SpaceX was embarking on a journey to develop methane-fueled rocket engines, a bold move that raised eyebrows across the aerospace industry. Today, that vision has evolved into the most remarkable piece of engineering in rocket history, the SpaceX Raptor engine. The story of Raptor isn't just about technical specifications. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible, from its groundbreaking full-flow stage combustion cycle to its unprecedented thrust-to-weight ratio. Each iteration of the Raptor engine has shattered expectations. The current Raptor 3 already generates a staggering 280 tons of thrust, making NASA's legendary RS-25 Space Shuttle engines look modest in comparison. But here's what's truly exciting. SpaceX isn't stopping there. While the company hasn't made any official announcements, mounting evidence suggests they're working on something even more powerful. A new engine that could redefine our understanding of rocket propulsion one that approaches the very limits of known physics. The next chapter in the Raptor saga isn't just about numbers. It's about humanity's journey to Mars, our evolution as a spacefaring species, and SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation. From the Elon Musk 24-hour channel, we're bringing you an inside look at what could be the most powerful rocket engine ever created. Let's dive right in. The birth of the Raptor engine marked a pivotal moment in human spaceflight. When SpaceX engineers first gathered in their Hawthorne facility to design this revolutionary propulsion system, they weren't just creating another rocket engine. They were laying the foundation for humanity's journey to Mars. The challenge before them seemed insurmountable. Build an engine powerful enough to lift the largest rocket ever conceived, efficient enough to enable interplanetary travel, and reliable enough to be reused multiple times. At the heart of their innovation was a decision that would prove both brilliant and daunting. They chose to implement a full-flow stage combustion cycle, a system so complex that even the Soviet Union's finest engineers had struggled to master it decades earlier. This wasn't just about pushing boundaries. It was about rewriting the rules of rocket propulsion entirely. The first breakthrough came with Raptor 1. At 185 tons of thrust, it matched the power of NASA's trusted RS-25 space shuttle engine, but that was just the beginning. What made Raptor 1 truly revolutionary was its use of methane as fuel, a decision that looked decades ahead to future Mars missions. When humans finally set foot on the red planet, they'll need to produce fuel for their return journey, and methane can be manufactured from Martian resources. This wasn't just engine design, it was planning for humanity's interplanetary future but the path to perfection was marked with setbacks. Early prototypes exploded on test stands, combustion chambers melted, and turbo pumps failed under the immense pressures they were subjected to. Each failure, however, taught the SpaceX team valuable lessons. They developed new materials, pioneered manufacturing techniques, and pushed the boundaries of engineering. The result was Raptor 2, an engine that would redefine what was possible. Raptor 2 emerged as a triumph of simplification. SpaceX's engineers had learned that complexity was the enemy of reliability. They eliminated countless flanges and bolts, converted joints to welds, and streamlined the engine's design. The result was stunning. 230 tons of thrust from an engine that was lighter and more reliable than its predecessor. The space industry took notice. This wasn't just an incremental improvement, it was a quantum leap in rocket technology. Then came Raptor 3, and with it, SpaceX pushed the boundaries even further. The team stripped away every unnecessary gram of weight, removed the traditional heat shield, and relied instead on regenerative cooling and advanced materials. The SX-500 alloy, developed specifically for Raptor, could withstand pressures up to 830 bar, far beyond what conventional materials could handle. When the engine roared to life on the test stand, it produced an astonishing 280 tons of thrust while maintaining the same fuel efficiency as Raptor 1. But perhaps the most remarkable aspect of Raptor 3's development was its manufacturing evolution. While early versions relied heavily on 3D printed components, SpaceX began transitioning to more conventional manufacturing methods. This wasn't just about reducing costs, it was about preparing for mass production. Each starship would need multiple Raptor engines, and SpaceX's vision of regular Mars missions would require hundreds of engines per year. 
Now, as we look to the future, SpaceX is quietly working on something even more ambitious. Elon Musk's cryptic reference to Raptor 3.x hints at an engine pushing the very limits of known physics. The goal? 300 tons of thrust per engine, enabling a staggering 10,000 tons of thrust at liftoff when combined in the Starship Farzoom 3 configuration. To put this in perspective, that's nearly three times the thrust of NASA's mighty Saturn V rocket that took humans to the moon. The challenges ahead are formidable. The new engine will need to achieve a thrust-to-mass ratio exceeding 200, meaning each kilogram of engine mass must generate 200 kilograms of thrust. The specific impulse, a measure of fuel efficiency, will need to increase by five seconds. A seemingly small number that represents a massive engineering challenge. Every component will be pushed to its absolute limit. SpaceX's engineers are exploring multiple paths to achieve these ambitious goals. They're experimenting with nozzle geometries, investigating new cooling systems, and pushing chamber pressures to unprecedented levels. The turbo machinery will need to spin faster, the combustion must burn hotter, and every component must be lighter while remaining durable enough for repeated use. The new engine will test the limits of material science. The SX-500 alloy, already a marvel of metallurgy, may need to be enhanced further. The cooling channels, critical for preventing the engine from melting under the intense heat of combustion, must be optimized for even greater efficiency. Every weld, every joint, every surface must be perfect. An alternative approach being considered involves increasing the number of engines on Starship's Super Heavy Booster from 33 to 35. According to environmental impact reports filed with the Federal Aviation Administration, SpaceX is already planning for this possibility. This configuration would provide the thrust needed for Starship Phi 3's ambitious missions, while potentially reducing the technical risks associated with developing an entirely new engine. The implications of this development extend far beyond mere technical specifications. A more powerful Raptor engine means larger payloads can be delivered to orbit, to the moon, and ultimately to Mars. It means more supplies for future astronauts, more equipment for building permanent bases, and more opportunities for scientific research. Each improvement in engine performance brings us one step closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. The development of these new engines also represents something profound about human ingenuity. When the first Raptor was conceived, many experts claimed its goals were impossible. The pressures were too high, the materials wouldn't survive, the complexity would make it unreliable. Yet time and again, SpaceX's engineers found solutions, overcame obstacles, and proved that impossible was just a temporary state of affairs. As testing continues in the remote facilities of McGregor, Texas, each thunderous roar of a Raptor engine echoes the progress we're making toward our interplanetary future. The next generation of Raptor engines won't just be more powerful, they'll be the key that unlocks humanity's expansion into the solar system. With each test, each iteration, and each improvement, we move closer to the day when the first human will step onto Martian soil, look back at Earth, and know that the journey began with the evolution of an engine that refused to accept the impossible. The story of the Raptor engine is more than just a tale of technological achievement. It's a testament to human determination and vision. From its revolutionary beginnings to its future evolution, each advancement brings us closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, the next chapter in this incredible journey is already being written. Will the next iteration of Raptor break the 300-ton thrust barrier? Could the addition of two more engines to Starship's configuration be the key to reaching Mars? The answers to these questions will shape the future of space exploration, and we'll be here to bring you every development as it unfolds. If you're as excited about humanity's journey to the stars as we are, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours for the latest updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. Share this video with fellow space enthusiasts and let us know in the comments which aspect of the Raptor engine's evolution you find most fascinating. Together, we're witnessing history in the making. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, keeping you connected to humanity's next giant leap.
In the heart of Texas, a revolutionary chapter in spaceflight history is unfolding. Standing at an awe-inspiring 120 meters tall, SpaceX's Starship isn't just breaking records as the largest rocket ever built. It's completely rewriting the rules of space travel. Think about this. Every heavy lift rocket before Starship followed the same pattern. The mighty Saturn V that carried humans to the moon, used once, then discarded. The space shuttle, despite its partial reusability, required extensive refurbishment after each mission. Even modern rockets leave a trail of debris across our oceans and in orbit. But SpaceX saw a different future. Today, we're witnessing a breakthrough that skeptics claimed was impossible. Not only has SpaceX successfully demonstrated the recovery of the massive Super Heavy booster using the Mechazilla arms, but they've just announced something unprecedented. Raptor engines from a previous flight will be reused in the upcoming Flight 7. This isn't just an incremental improvement. It's a fundamental shift in how we access space. When Elon Musk first proposed a fully reusable rocket system, industry veterans dismissed it as science fiction. Now, with each Starship flight, SpaceX is proving that tomorrow's space travel will look nothing like yesterday's. From the success of catching Booster 12 to the integration of flight-proven Raptor engines, we're about to show you how SpaceX is revolutionizing space travel. One historic milestone at a time. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The story of Flight 7 begins not with its upcoming launch, but in the decisive moments of October 2023. As Booster 12 descended from the Texas sky, engineers at Mission Control held their breath. Years of work, countless simulations, and previous attempts had led to this moment. The massive rocket, guided by its grid fins, aligned perfectly with the launch tower. Then, in a display of precision that seemed to defy physics, the Mechazilla arms reached out and caught the booster, a feat that would have seemed impossible just years ago. Among the 33 Raptor engines that powered that historic flight was one that would soon write its own chapter in spaceflight history. Engine number 314, affectionately nicknamed Raptor Pi by the SpaceX team, performed flawlessly during its maiden voyage. Now this same engine is about to do something unprecedented. Fly again. The implications of this achievement cannot be overstated. Every time a rocket engine is thrown away after a single use, it's like scrapping a jet engine after one flight across the Atlantic. The cost implications are staggering. A single Raptor engine represents thousands of hours of engineering, precision manufacturing, and millions of dollars in development. By proving these engines can be reused, SpaceX isn't just saving money. They're reshaping the economics of space travel. But Flight 7 isn't just about reused engines. The mission introduces Ship 33 and Booster 14, a pairing that showcases SpaceX's relentless drive for improvement. Ship 33's redesigned aerodynamic surfaces aren't just minor tweaks. They're the result of hard-learned lessons from previous flights. The reinforced heat shield tiles tell a story of engineering evolution, each modification guided by data from previous re-entries. The mission profile itself reveals SpaceX's ambitious vision. For the first time, Starship will carry a payload of Starlink satellite simulators. These aren't mere dummy weights. They're precise replicas of next-generation Starlink satellites, designed to test deployment mechanisms that could one day revolutionize global internet coverage. As these simulators follow their suborbital trajectory over the Indian Ocean, they'll provide crucial data for future operational missions. Perhaps most intriguing is the modified trajectory for Flight 7. The path over the Indian Ocean isn't chosen by chance. It's a carefully calculated route that will test Starship's capabilities in new ways. The upper stage will experience different re-entry conditions, pushing the limits of its thermal protection system and control surfaces. Every second of flight data will be invaluable for future missions, including potential lunar landings and Mars voyages. Meanwhile, the space industry landscape continues to evolve. Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket, announced back in 2016, represents another approach to heavy lift capability. Standing at 98 meters tall, it's an impressive vehicle in its own right. But the contrast with Starship reveals SpaceX's revolutionary vision. While New Glenn aims for partial reusability with its first stage, Starship pursues the holy grail of full reusability, Every component, every flight, 
the numbers tell a compelling story. New Glenn's seven BE4 engines generate 17,100 kilonewtons of thrust. Impressive until you compare it to Starship's Super Heavy Booster, whose 33 Raptor engines produce a staggering 75,000 kilonewtons. This isn't just about raw power, it's about capability. New Glenn's 45 metric ton payload capacity to low Earth orbit, while significant, falls far short of Starship's planned 150 metric ton capability. But the real story isn't in the numbers, it's in the vision they represent. While Blue Origin has faced setbacks, including a damaged second-stage rocket and a failed stress test in 2019,